Hey everybody, this is Children of the Stones. This is episode three. This episode is called Serpent in the Circle. Last episode, Matt had a stone come through his window from Di. He's gone out to see what's happening um, and he stumbled upon a Stonehenge version of the Wicker Man. Di has then proceeded to hit him and knock him out. Um, it seems some people are privy to information in this village and then other people aren't privy to information. Um, when Matt's dad was talking to the lady that runs the museum, she was basically saying there was a few of them that were kind of left out when everybody disappeared and they couldn't understand why. I think slowly they're kind of being brought into the fold, those people, the non-conformists, I suppose, um, and then either being taken over or even replaced, possibly. Matt realised that the ley lines seemed to kind of converge on a house in the village and the kind of orientation of the stones matches a constellation um, above. So it's quite interesting this. I'm actually quite intrigued by this episode, so I'm just going to go straight on into this. Let's go. Oh, it's got quite a big recap, this episode. Do you know the painting I wanted in this? I, I would sell it. There's the stone. It's die. Die! Realising these types of programmes, the children don't have, you know, there's not much restraint. this, will you, man? Follow it all the way. That's it. Now all the way back again. <laughs> it was Di. Oh, go on. He... I came down and I heard this... Everybody was singing. I don't know. I was flung against a stone and as I touched it... He takes these, man. Right. Matthew. What are they? Your father found you on the doorstep. Did you fall? Middle of the night. I just blame it on sleepwalking. Next time it might be something worse than concussion. Thank you for your help, Doctor. Oh. We'll keep you busy for a couple of days. <laughs> Goodbye. Good night, Doctor. Gee, that smells delicious. It's the shittest fried breakfast I've ever seen in my life. Yes. It's quite a pretty little village. Oh, morning, Matt. How do you feel? It was Di. Some man. Could have been, Dad. I told you. The last thing I remember was those people standing Aww. in a circle. Mm. <laughs> Mrs. Crabtree? It's hard stuff, Stone. Which stone? The doorstep. That's where you fell, wasn't it? Was it? Part of the circle. Mm -hmm. You sure? You sure didn't dream it? You fell on the village was going to do that. You could have been sleepwalking. You don't understand. The people in the circle were... Possessed. I don't know. Possessed. <laughs> New people having to stick together. What do you mean? You said that when we first met. Oh, well, we do. Okay, why? For protection. Something seems to happen to them. I don't know what it is, but something seems to happen. They Take change. Over. Oh, you must have noticed. Some of us are normal. Come on, we better get... There's one. a man called Di. Do you know him? The poacher. He's potty, I think. Always trying to warn me. Lynette Barrow. Di lives there. How far is it? At the end of the avenue. Outside the circle. I mean, there's certainly an uncanny resemblance. The stones, the hill. Yes. The question is what? I don't think the stones the are stones. I genuinely think the stones are people. have the power to turn people to stone? There's a lot we don't understand. Uh, Matthew said he saw a ring of people holding hands. Singing. That echoes the painting again. The parishioners clasp hands and walk round it in a clockwise direction with the sun and then advance and retreat. Well, the church is deconsecrated. It's in the gift of the manor and hasn't had an incumbent for years. 
Oh, she sure going to start opening other people's post. And it may be some time before you're able to move to the high table with the others. I wouldn't want to move. In the meantime, I thought a little extra work would... Please, miss. Yes, Jimmy? That'd be a special case of a Hilbert transform, miss. Have they got him? That squeaky's gone. Oh, get on my nerves. I like this guy's little gadgets. Stone acting as a magnet. Well, it's not possible. How, How much do you know that? about magnetic fields? Teach me, Professor. Which means? Which means there's only one possible solution. Some tremendous energy has passed through these stones. From the sky. Some kind of treatment. Don't ask. If it is a treatment, who gives it? I think well, they've all got the same pair of jeans on. Well, so it was you. You are Saviour, I am. Save me from what? Them. The past. You do understand. You understand something which is more than we do. I've got feelings. That's quite different from understanding. What do you think? Everyone turned to stone. Go on. Mm-hmm. Go on, boy. Explain yourself. Treasure. Treasure. Trouble is this danger, too. What kind of danger? If I knew that, we could avoid it, couldn't we? But we can't. What is it? Where did you get it? It's mine. I found it. It came to me. That's what it is. My key. The originals Aww. made... Oh, look at that. You say. Later, serpents were supposed to protect sacred hills and mazes. I knew that. He said something about the village being like a maze. The carving of a serpent on the font. <laughs> it's biting the foot of a bitch. And I told you oh. what that meant, remember? Mm. The carving on the font was probably intended as a warning. A warning? To pagans. Yes, to be constantly on their guard. Against the power of the serpent. That's right. Mr. Hendrick, I've been looking for you. Oh, we're just about to convert, yeah. Welcome first things to the first. club. What will you have? No, no, let me, please. Uh, two large whiskies. Mm. Well, I wondered what the stones of the circle were all pointing at up there. And as far as I could work out, they formed no alignment with the sun or the moon. <laughs> it's unfair. I should have introduced myself properly when we Is first met. Is he a met. scientist? Of course. Written in dog Latin. A style earlier than beads. About sixth century. A mishmash of fact and fiction made me sit up and take notice. What was that? Someone in the village, Wheel Wicker, as it was then called, was reported by... He might, I think he's been Earth replaced. Bar. You know which constellation it's in? Yes, sir, Major. The Great Bear. And you know for early man, the bear was a, an object of veneration. What on earth? That's Tom Browning. The farmer invited Dr. Lyle and me for supper the night we were all newcomers, remember? Oh, I remember. Now he's part I know Mr. Browning. He's Jimmo's father. Happy day! Oh. Look, it's Jimmo. Yeah. It's Jimmo! This, this programme gets more and more interesting by the part. It's, it's interesting to see, like, oh, they're bringing all of this kind of history and religion into it. I just find it really intriguing, actually. Um... I've never seen anything like this before, but I'm really, really enjoying it. My gut instinct, I think I'd even said in the in the first episode of this, that the when they were going past the stones, I thought these stones look like people. And uh, then I'm, the more I'm getting into it, I was thinking, yeah, the, these stones are definitely people. And then obviously they're now talking about it as well. So it's interesting, obviously. And now when when... We now know that the singing obviously alters people. So every time they sing, I'm assuming somebody else becomes a part of it. I'm quite looking forward to seeing what the next episode holds. So I've just got to sign off and I will see you later. Thank you.